Being out in the wild, I think, is just a way to simplify your life. It's a great way, especially with family, to bond with your family, get away from all the everyday hectic things that are going on, and a way to really reconnect with the earth around you and, and uh, discover new things. We're in the middle of a booming city. In five minutes, you can be in the peaceful, natural, outside world. Um, walking along the boardwalk off Robinson Drive, it's, um, there's a peace that you feel. And in the wintertime, it's the snow on the birches. In the summertime, it's the wildflowers. There's a creek running through. It's played a really important role in our family life. I, a, an easy place to get out and enjoy the outdoors. And I can skate all winter long outdoors. I can go skiing whenever I want. I grew up in, uh, in the valley, in, in Anmer, and I spent a lot of time being outside and running wild <laughs> in the backwoods. So for me, um, to, to get the kids out, to, to be out in nature with the kids, to, to do tactile concrete things where we're touching and learning and going out to find treasures, and um, th there's nothing better than to teach them uh, life skills of being outside. Since the birth of our son, Tom, so four years ago, uh, we've had the pleasure of watching him grow up in a, in, in a very natural environment. Um, but just watching the child and the smile on Tom's face when he's covered in mud, um, you see that he's having a lot of fun. But the imagination to me is the largest landscape that exists. It's not something you can necessarily touch or experience. But a green space like that or a park Anywhere in your backyard, you know, you can climb up into the slag hills if you wanted to, but something like that gives you a blank slate to create upon. And, and that was the most important part of my childhood. And for better or for worse, that's how I got to where I am today, is from having just free playtime in a space that was my own. I love the lakes. We do a lot of swimming, <laughs> fishing, a lot of catch and release fishing. Both, you know, when the lakes are frozen and when the lakes are, are uh, and in the summertime, we've enjoyed paddling and um, at, uh, we, you know, we throw the canoe on the roof of the car and head over to the um, Lake Laurentian Conservation Area. It's a great little lake to go paddling in. So the one thing that we do teach kids is that everything that you do in the watershed or close to the water, be it in your own backyard or be it where you're standing in your schoolyard, it affects a waterway or a lake. Lake, lake Ramsey or Ramsey Lake is uh, it's an awesome lake just to head down. It's very accessible from our, from our house. You can just, you know, a 10 minute walk and, uh, and we've, in the wintertime, we've enjoyed kick sledding on the lake. Um, and uh, the skating path is obviously one of the biggest attractions and, and uh, really enjoyed by a lot of people in Sudbury. So we're so lucky definitely to have that waterfront.